Hello, welcome to VRU Inside Business. I am Antonio Yandolo. I am Vice President responsible for European Marketing and Africa for Haynes Brands. Haynes Brands is an American company based in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, approximately $7 billion of uh, uh, net sales, actually the most important branded apparel company in the world, especially for intimates, men underwear, hosiery and socks. We own some of the most iconic brands in the world, such as Haynes, Champion, Deem, Bonds. In Germany, we own the Nurdi Nurder brands, Playtex, Wonderbra, Shock Absorber, um, Bailey and many others. My objective today is to give you a little bit of a status. What are the economy, market and trend implication about coronavirus? And also give a perspective of what is going to happen to consumers in our categories after the crisis. We will focus on external facts and information from key sources. We will focus on trends, some psychosocial elements and we also try to understand what are the key facts and implication for such a business. Please be aware that this kind of reasoning and thinking can be done for every business. Analysis of the situation and then implication for the specific business. As you know, basically masks and uh, coronavirus started a little bit like a trend in Paris and London uh, catwalks in the month of January and February. But we have to say that became very serious. Actually, we can say, and we will not go to, into much details, we will say the difference, we will see here the different step of shutdown and also the patterns that psycho, from the psychosocial point of view went into the thinking of the people. We have a first step, which is the reduced circulation, uh, military presence, closing of school, we start to advising reward working, shutdown of public gatherings and events, and the certain limits of commercial activity, the people start to joke. And the joke are quite linked to skepticism. We can say, for example, somebody putting a, a panty on their head. Now, the thing become progressively more serious. We will see house confinement, first in selected regional areas, like red zone, enforced by military, middle to heavy limit to commercial activity, remote work become forced, people don't travel anymore, the earth service become overcharged, we can see that political activities are reduced, we see that the first celebrities start to get infected. Celebrity is very important to drive psychologic, psychological and psychosocial patterns, because especially because of the social media. And the jokes start to become less about skepticism, but more tragicomic. A little bit of joke, but also a little bit of tragedy. The things becomes even more serious. Now, point number three, we start to have the red area, house confinement and ban to people circulation nationwide, which is enforced by military, shutdown of all commercial activities and essential services, except those that are really essential, and production goes on, but it is stopped in some key area and on essential activities. Uh, only some essential work activities continue. We have drastic reduction of travel, kind of no travel, no planes, not travel bans, no planes. And we start, unfortunately, to have triage, which means choosing who to, to cure and who not in the health service this, uh, st structure. And even we start counting, unfortunately, body bags, impact the image, the impact on the mood of the consumers when they see something like this. We have a stop of political activities and we start having major propaganda campaign. We have some example down there coming in the first days of the shutdown or the lockdown in Italy. You see that we have a, a political figure like the prime minister. We have uh, some slogans. And we have celebrities that repeat overwhelmingly in social media this kind of joke, this kind of slogans. Uh, many celebrities get infected and death really becomes socially visible. At this time, we don't have jokes anymore. 
we say, for example, the way we see here, for example, the way we are communicating or we communicated our shop closure in Italy. In Italy, we have to know that we own a retail chain, which is called Lovable. And we started then to communicate it, linking our uh, message to the government message that they've been given at the moment. For example, we see in Italian, rimaniamo a casa, but restiamo vicini. Let's stay at home, but keep together. We still continue to talk about our site. We will continue to be on lovable.it. And then we created also a kind of slogan, your home is lovable. Again, linked to the key message the in the moment by the government. To be honest, that was by far the highest communication for engagement we had on Lovable. Now, how can we analyze strategic implication? My advice is to have a very simple chart on which we put all the key facts from on one side, we try to collect them, and we put the strategic implication on the other side. Please be aware that this kind of chart, I ask my team to update it every week because I will see the things come change very rapidly. Okay, let's see, let's go further in this chart and analyze them uh, in details. First of all, uh, the key fact, First fact we tried to analyze was the impact of the economy. What did we discover that is very di difficult to project at this stage? McKinsey got three scenarios, OSD, two scenarios. Okay, quite confused. So what are the strategic implications of that? First of all, we do not know very much, so we have to update intelligence on a daily basis. We have to be very careful about experts and try to distinguish what it is expert and what, it is the, and what is fact, and what is the thesis of the expert. We have to be beware of new cycles or hyper cycles that are basically pushed by the communication and by the mood of the people. We have to constantly reframe the big picture and use, and this is very important, all possible resilience pr principle. First of all, multiple approach, I mean, uh, multiple people discussing multiple ways and taking at the end decisions. Solution must be modular and the organization must be modular as well. Why? Because of flexibility, but also because we do not know if all the people in our organization will be available all the time. Another key word, it is evolvability. We have to avoid today stuff in a sense of structured strong decision that we not we cannot change but we have rather to work to prepare them as soon as the situation will be clarified important is also cost cutting and prudence for example in our company we have stopped all collection because collection means uh, a major spending of cash which we do not know if we will be in the position to sell in the next uh, um, months and again Cash becomes the key indicator of the company, and it is a key indicator and a key mean of survival, especially in the context of non-essential activity like ours, like the majority of the shops which sells our product are closed. And also, this is another big key point, we have to be true to our brand purpose. And it is the only way to communicate, communicate the purpose via corporate social um, social. Um, implications and corporate social um, activities because at this stage it is key that the consumer feel the closeness of the band and why not also reinforcing our link to consumers via social media etc with the multiplicity of message then second point after the general economy we analyze the impact of our class of trade what we can see we can see that only mass market food, uh, people that sell food and pharmacy will be open in the peak phases of the uh, coronavirus crisis. So the mass market will be favored versus retail, high street, department stores, etc. We also see that we receive conflicting signals from e-commerce. E-commerce stay open, but the propension to buy in our categories that I repeat again are non-essential 
con contracts quite importantly. What are the opportunities in this case for us? Well, we are very strong in mass market in France, Germany, Spain, and also United States. This is an opportunity for us. So we are pushing it. We have major risks on the contrary in everything which is high street and it is closed today. Retail, independent stores, department stores. Concerning e-commerce, as of today, the situation is very, very, very different country to country. What we are doing, we are monitoring every day our KPIs and we are monitoring visits and conversion. This is very important. Visit and conversion. And we are activating max of our CRM activity to understand and attract because we are discovering that some category of people are more propense to uh, purchase our goods than other and uh, some attitudes are different than others. Moving forward, the other point we have to look at, this is the key as a point as a for a marketeer, it is the impact on consumer attitudes. But we have to look at the consumer in two ways. We have to look at the consumers during the crisis and we have to see the impact of the consumer after the crisis. So during the crisis, well, the people staying at home, we focus on local community, national values. We've seen a lot of flags going on in Italy, in France, the war against the virus and all these kinds of things. We've seen that the shopping trips are limited and the over 65s are the most vulnerable and are encouraged to stay at home and limit human contact as much as possible. Well, we discovered that 38% of our consumer in Playtex brand are um, be over 65. 45% of Nordi buyers in Germany are over 45, but also an important percentage in France. So we have to take care of them and find ways to attract them. And we have seen a lot of online activity, not much in the sites that basically sell products, but a lot in social media. We have seen three key moods. Mook number one, which is the more important and more distributed, is the fear. The other, the other the general attitude after fear, it is to re reduce purchase in general. Our categories, uh, well, what can be bought in our categories? For sure, not fashion, not uh, fancy things, but maybe everyday basics, panties, men underwear, some bestsellers, and only basic colors is not the moment of fashion. Another key mood, it is rationality, which have more or less the same impact on uh, the attitude to purchase in our category. Maybe people that are rational purchase only things where they were worn out. And another third way, it is the fatalism. The fatalism we see since, since 14th century uh, in Florence, there is a book that is, was written by somebody called Giovanni Boccaccio, that talks about the fatalism, fatalism of uh, young people in face on the plague. And this is actually a famous, very famous book that you might wish to read, which is called The Cameron. And in this case, we see that we have a focus, especially on the young people on self, and categories like ours are actually, to a minority of people, affected by hypersexness and pleasure. So let's look at a statistic implication. When we do not go to the office, we do not dress up. So we wear more socks than augury, than pantyhose. We wear nightwear, homewear. We will have quite a nice example of wise use of nightwear and homewear communication. We focus on everyday basics, bestseller, and we cut everything else. So we, tack, we cut fast tracks retail, colors, so that we protect Tash. What we did, actually, we cut volumes of 2020, we also cut activity of 2020s. We are rendering e-commerce specifically interesting for older people. We have seen that older people are at home and they will stay at home for a very long time, so we're making sure that we reach them via CRM with brands that are significant and stories that are significant to them. We also see that the people do not spontaneously go to our sites, so we have to trigger consumption and visit via linking via social to mother then rent life easier in this difficult situation. 
like multi-buy, tutorial, and things like this. We are working very much on maximizing pharma distribution, and also we will see production of masks. And, okay, for the people that are very fatalistic and sexy, we continue to sell our blonder bra, okay? Now, this is what is happening today. But what could happen after the crisis? First of all, we think that the coming back to local and national origin will continue. We think that the brands with the social and environment purpose will be stronger. We think that e-commerce will become even, even stronger with the 65 plus, which learn how to work, how to deal with e-commerce now that they are in home confinement. And we will see a lot of more look that becomes fashion. So what are the opportunity? Well, first opportunity, Ains brand is one of the strongest cash company uh, in the sector, maybe the strongest, and we are very renewed for our capability to produce cash. So we think that we will have the first opportunity is that our the other will not be as strong as us. So we will have some of them, we will be basically bankrupt in this situation. We have opportunities in reinforcing our local supply chain, the origin claims made in Germany, made in France. We will reinforce our homeware business. We have very strong brand for that, like Dim, and very strong as well, like Champion. And we will continue strong implementation of our corporate social responsibility policies. And we will have a stronger focus on mature consumers uh, selling um, our brands and giving very clear selling story for them. You will, even a small detail, the fonts in the internet sites can do the difference for people that are above 65 and do not, do not have a very strong site. Moving forward, we see example of our corporate communication. We had the very strong initiative, the first week of coronavirus, actually to start to mobilize, to produce masks. And this is going quite strongly. We have do it, you worked it around all, all brands of our portfolio, and we are seeing excessive, excessively good results in terms of uh, uh, um, uh, visits, but also, and this is very important, in terms of engagement. People respond to our message and give us feedback. And this is extremely important. Feedback and the dialogue with the consumer it is a key, key area of, uh, uh, let's say, communication at this stage in a situation in which advertising is not having a good return on investment because no sale is possible except certain case. So this is really one of the way. And we also see how very quickly we've been capable of converting our production to the production on non-medical, but very important protection masks for droplets and non-medical personnel. This is actually very, very key and we are using it them to reinforce our image to to give it to our people and why not in the future also supply to our consumer and last but not least we go out with the smile we see our one of the most important influencer in the world which is Chiara Ferragni with above 18.5 million followers is pushing air business of homeware, which is becoming today one of the key uh, routine for fashion dressing. It is so nice to see that she uh, put together a very nice um, Louis Vuitton bag with the homeware item or a very, very nice Louis Vuitton slippers with the homeware item. Well, this is uh, all from my side. I think I could, I hope I could help you a little bit in your marketing thinking during the coronavirus crisis, and I am available to take questions. Thank you very much.